we are here on day one for the food and wine festival at Epcot. Look at this. For anything, we need a coffee. This year, the food and wine festival starts on August 29th and ends on November 23rd. Our first stop is to check out the festival merchandise. It's a ratatouille cooking timer. These figment lounge fly backpacks are probably going to fly off the shelf. We're actually really impressed with the merchandise this year. There's not just a lot of items, but also a huge variety of things to get. This button up feels really airy, which is good because it's hot in Florida pretty much all year. Um, for reference, the price is 40. We got a tote bag. Spirit jersey. This is annual pass holder exclusive merchandise. This hat feels like it could be kind of water resistant. So this is the back of the wine. Oh look, more cups. And here is the annual pass holder shirt you can purchase. This is a rare sight. We hardly see Muppets on any merchandise. I like these I'm shirts. Like, I, can't, I can't say that's true, but I kind of feel like you should get these features. These glasses look like beakers. Remy and Figment are basically the faces of the um, Food and Wine Festival. But I'm really loving the love that Remy is getting. This Let's see what the back of this looks like. Nice. Chef Mickey and Minnie are sneaking into the merchandise this year. Here's a magnet. Forgot to show you the front of this Muppet shirt. We made the mistake of eating before we came, but let's still see what they have. So with the meals for Maj, Montage, you basically purchase five of the items below, and then you get a free treat at the end after you collect all the stamps. This is normally a popular booth. Getting the flight of french fries is the way to go. We've got burgers this year, which is super exciting. Gonna have to come back next time when we're hungry. There's plenty of opportunities throughout the park to pick up merchandise.
We are now entering the World Showcase. So if you're unfamiliar with the Food and Wine Festival, there are these little international booths that serve food from that country in small portions. Looks like this isn't open yet. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Here's a booth for you ramen fans. I love how each booth is decorated differently also. These are impossible buffalo tenders. The Carolina Reaper wings are back. Let's give my nephew a flashback from last year. Are you crying, bro? <laughs> Super spicy wings. She screamed like the wasabi. <laughs> You can find this and other weird things like pickle milkshakes at the Muppet Brewing Lab. Somebody stole their AirPods. Science alert. Buy a map and find Remy in all the countries. Stamp it and turn in your map. You can get a prize. That dude is right here in Mexico. You can choose between one of these bowls if you submit your completed map. Are you guys a fan of the impossible meat options? Oh, we found luggage tags and magnets. Here is this year's passport. It tells you where all the food is at and also holds all of your completion stamps. The Alps has this really stinky cheese that apparently tastes better than it smells. There's the culprit. I can't pronounce this first item, but I've had it before and it's really good. It's kind of like a cheesy casserole. They take the flags during the festivals and they shrink them down and put them in this little town down here. Italy's got a weird item. It looks like spaghetti nachos. So you can eat at a restaurant and get front row seats to the bands that are playing here at Epcot. Flavors of America is a hot dog booth this time. We made it to Greece. Food booth in France generally has a long line. They have good stuff. There's some escargot if you feel like snail. This is by far my favorite booth, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a filet. It's filet mignon with mashed potatoes, mushrooms, and garlic herb butter. This is a champagne slash dessert booth. 
here are the items for the Hawaii booth. This is like a fall inspired menu. They have autumn chili, whatever that is, and pumpkin mascarpone. This Harvest Hollow is kind of like a continuation of the last booth. Just fall, autumn-y food menus, I guess. This booth has carrot cake, which I'll definitely be coming back for at a later time. They're grilling out here. They've got things like grilled bison and pork tenderloin. I've never had bison before, but I am curious about it. We're heading to Communicore Hall, or what I like to call Epcot School Cafeteria Section. We have more festival merch here. These are some of the exclusive pins. This booth is new, it's got different types of mac and cheese plates. The cheesesteak macaroni and cheese could be good. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.